friends, Protoss, lend me your ears, and I, Gillyweed, will guide you step by step through Parting's immortal sentry all in. Before we start, this build does well in the natural, so make sure you know the building placement for the map you're playing on. The replay I used for this video was on Daybreak. If you want to watch it, check the video description below. In a minute, I will ask you to pause the video while you set up a game against an easy AI Zerg opponent. When the game loads, pause it and come back here. I will then give you a countdown to resume the game. Ready? Pause the video. Well, hello there. Get ready to resume the game and build your first probe in 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, go. You just started your first probe. Keep making them. You'll start your first pylon after your ninth probe. You should have just started your ninth probe. When you get close to 100 minerals, pull a probe out to build your first pylon. Then keep mining with it. Your pylon should finish when your 10th probe does. As soon as you can, start your 11th probe and then chrono boost the nexus. Chrono boost your nexus again when it runs out. You should be making your 15th probe. Rally it to your natural and have it build a nexus as soon as you have the resources. Be sure to reset your rally point back to your main's mineral line. You should be starting your 17th probe. Warp in a forge as soon as you have 150 minerals. Halt building probes after this one. At 100 minerals, build a pylon at the natural wall, then resume probe production. Build a gateway at the natural wall. You should be at 18 supply. Use the probe that built the gateway to scout. As soon as your forge finishes, build a cannon at your natural wall. Also, chrono boost the nexus. Warp in both assimilators at the main. You should be around 20 supply. Chrono boost the nexus again now. Your second nexus is almost complete. When it's done, start making probes and chrono boost it with your main. When your simulator's finished, put three probes on each. Your gateway is almost done. As soon as it's complete, warp in a cybernetics core at your natural wall, then mine with this probe at the natural. Chrono boost the main nexus. Chrono boost your natural and build another pylon at the natural wall. Change your main's rally point to the natural minerals now. You should be at around 30 supply. As soon as your cybernetics core finishes, start warp gate research and build a stalker. Chrono boost the gateway. Warp in a robotics facility, then chrono boost the natural when you can.
Warp in an assimilator at the natural. When your stalker finishes, start building a sentry. Warp in two pylons now. Start researching plus one ground weapons at the forge. When your assimilator finishes, put three probes on it. Warp in two gateways. You should be around 42 supply. When your sentry finishes, start another one. When your robo finishes, start an immortal and chrono boost it. Warp in the second assimilator at your natural. Chrono boost the robo again. You should have about 16 probes mining minerals at both bases. Warp in a pylon now and build another immortal when the first one finishes. When your sentry finishes, build another. Put three probes on your assimilator that just finished and chrono boost the robo. Warp in two pylons. When your warp gate research finishes, transform your new gateways into warp gates. Warp in two gateways. You can build them individually as you get resources if you need to. Chrono boost the robo and start a third immortal when the second finishes. Make sure gateway production won't hinder your immortal production. Build a pylon now and transform your first gateway into a warp gate. When your gateways finish transforming, continue to warp in sentries. Chrono boost your robo. Stop making probes around now. You should have about 44. Warp in two gateways now. When the third immortal finishes, start a warp prism. You can skip this warp prism if you're uncomfortable with warp prism micro. If you do make it, chrono boost it out. Make sure to transform your gateways into warp gates as they finish building. Continue making sentries from them once they transform or once their cooldowns are up. You should now be at around the 9 minute mark. Build another pylon and move out with your units. You should have 3 immortals, around 7 sentries, and 1 stalker. Warp in a zealot to join as you move out and take a probe with you to build proxy pylons. When you engage, make sure to land your force fields. After you've warped in 10 or so sentries, switch to stalkers. Try not to produce too many zealots, but use the few you make to tank damage. Keep your stalkers safe with force fields and use your warp prism to warp in units or to pick up damaged units and transport them to safety. Remember that this is an all in, so keep building units and chrono boosting your gateways to reduce the cooldown. Good luck and have fun.